This is Coogan Cassis for Eiffel TV in association with Macklin's Gym Marbella. We're in Doncaster here for the McDonnell pre-Texas press conference. Yeah, pre-Texas pre trip. Yeah. Uh, excursion. You was hoping it was going to be in... Uh, I can't believe it. I was told New York. New York and um, obviously I've been to New York with, with Adam Booth and Andy Lee for the uh, Peter Quillen fight. So I thought, New York, I know where we're going to train, I know where we can stay got it all sussed out and then I think um, Eddie said earlier on this is, I think he, he knew about three hours before um, before it was announced well I knew about five minutes before I saw it on Twitter um, that he, he texted me saying got some bad news I was like what it's, it's Jamie I thought oh no fight's off so then he's rang me and went you've got to go to Texas mate I was devilled I could have cried I could have cried but well, you know, we've got to go there, and uh, as long as we go there and we get the win again, I'm not fussed. As uh, Mr. George Groves once said, everything happens for a reason, so if it's meant to be back in Texas, it's meant to be. But, um, you know, you just got to roll with these things, W use changes of venues and dates and opponents. At yeah, like I said, the main thing is, because we're going to a place called Corpus Christi, um, it's trying to source boxing gyms, sparring partners, things like that. That, for me, was the, was the immediate big headache. Um, it's also, you know, humidity is a lot, a lot worse than what it was in Hidalgo. But checking out the arena, the arena's got air conditioning, it's modern, it's, so that'll be, that'll be fine on fight night. Um, but to counteract the problem with, with sparring that we're liable to have when we get out there, um, kidnap Ryan Burnett. So Ryan's been up this week sparring and after uh, last week started, started last week and um, after the first sparring session I watched the session and I watched what he was doing and um, I thought he's absolutely ideal preparation for what I need. Um, so I spoke to Adam, says, um, I feel like kidnapping Ryan, so what's your plans with him? Um, so he looked into it. He, uh, he asked Ryan, and uh, Ryan jumped at it. He's like, you know, he's, he's over the moon to come over to Texas. Great experience for him, uh, ahead of his British title fight. Um, he's sparring, you know, at world level. It's, it's only going to improve him. But the spars themselves are fantastic spars, really, really good spars. Yeah. Um, Jamie McDonnell, clearly one of the most underrated fighters in, in Britain. And before the Kamida fight, he was yeah. sort of being written off for that Kamida fight. He went there and, like I said, survived that, that third round to go on to get the decision. Yeah. Uh, do you feel that he got the recognition after that fight? Or, or he feels that he did, but do you, you know, on the other side, Listen, do you see that? On one side, yes, he did, because look at the people that turned up here today. So, without, without, uh, if he didn't have the recognition, he wouldn't, have, you know, people won't be talking about it. But I don't think he got it because it didn't get shown live obviously we had all that so everybody had to face on about that everybody was feeling about that so was we um, but after that there wasn't the, the elongated buzz about him and this 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 and you know I think if he'd have been a fighter from down south I think he'd have a bit more a bit more push or a bit more media interest you know um, I do I think that's, got, that's probably got something to do with it a little bit because um, you can't say you ain't got personality, he's just got a different personality to what you normally see. Well, he's a funny fucker. He's a funny kid, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it, there's, there's plenty about him when, when you stick a, a camera in front of him. Um, but since the fight got announced as a rematch, it went nuts. Twitter just went nuts. All the social media, the media itself have all jumped on it. Look, at you know, he's been on live on Sky Sports News today and things like that. So all of a sudden, because of this rematch, his profile just shot up through the roof. Now, because we've now got a Sunday night day, everything, like you've just said, everything happens for a reason. Now we've got a Sunday night day, live on Sky Sports. What are people going to watch? Songs of Praise? You know, things like that. What, what is the I think it's on earlier in the... What do people watch on a Sunday night? <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, so, because we've got that slot now, I would expect a good, a, a good amount of people viewing this fight. Um, so... This is his chance, he's in window, this is his chance to like go out there and make a statement and make everybody that doesn't really know, don't really follow Jamie at all, sit up and say, wow, this kid can fight, this kid is quality. And start following this kid, you know, and, and hopefully that's that's what happens and then, you know, we can push him on and, and how, he, how he needs to be, you know, because he's, he keeps winning. Obviously, the, the first fight was a close fight and yeah. he got the decision, yeah. um, but... He could rubber stamp that yeah. 
in the second fight by putting on a more convincing yeah. performance so people That's were we need. being no doubt. Yeah. That's what we need. I've, I've, I'm drilling it into him that if this is a close fight, like last time was, if every round is as competitive as like last time was, then we ain't going to get the decision. Getting a decision once in Texas is good going. Getting it twice in Texas, I don't think we'll get it. So he has to be, he has to win the rounds more clear. You know, it, what he was doing in the first fight, it'd be, it'd be winning it clear, it'd be outscoring, it'd be landing, landing, landing. Then he'd do some good work and then stand there and let Kameda get off these rat attack shots that are just palm, palming him off, cashing him. Judges are thinking that he's throwing these flurries and then they're giving him. The last 30 seconds are plenty of rounds, the last 10 seconds are plenty of rounds. Kameda will just throw five, six shots because Jamie's just stood there leaning in. It, it just made it look as though it was more competitive can't afford to do that you know um, so we want to be the ones that are rubber stamp in each round we want to be the ones that are where you look at them shots and he, he, you know he, he's on top um, and I think if he does if he does what we're working on and if he does what I want him to do um, I, th I think he wins it clearer but I won't be surprised if he stops him later because he's hitting harder now if we are a doubt is it in order now um, and we're, we're getting some great sparring like I said you know um, it's, it's and the thing about Ryan as well is Ryan's got the speed he's got the head movement he, he's actually harder to, make, to hit than what uh, Kameda was um, so there's the, the awkwardness there so if, if Jamie's managed to tag him then when he gets in with Kameda you'll find it more comfortable more, you know you'll, you'll find that he's finding him a lot a lot easier than what he has been doing in the week uh, preparing and coming up to the fight Ryan's also very, very aggressive, and he, f he loves to fire that left up to the body. One of Kameda's favourite punches is the left up to the liver. You know, and Ryan likes throwing that shot. He throws that, you know, because he wants. To, he, he's a really aggressive little fuck. He really, really wants to take you out. Um, so it's good sparring with something that's fresh, that's wanting to prove himself every session. You know, rather than something that's just coming in there and, and you know, all right, mate, all right, mate, and tip tapping. You know, we've, we've got we've got proper, you know, it's proper sparring in there. It's really good, good thinking, learning sparring, and that's what I want because I'm, I'm, it's like Jamie saying, I'm giving things that I need him to do. He needs to be able to go out there and put them into practice and under pressure, and where too many people are focused on winning every round and looking the best in sparring. It's about learning, it's about practicing what you're doing on the floor, on the pads, then taking it into a sparring session and pulling them same moves off, pulling them same shots off, pulling them same defensive maneuvers off in sparring. Because if you don't do that in the sparring session, then how, how can you go out there and do that in a fight? I'm sure that you will unravel all these questions as a fight night near us. So, listen, wish you the best of luck, yeah, like I said. I'm sure everyone here is rooting for Jamie to, you know, to pull off yeah. a similar result, if not better. And, uh, you know, it's not going to be easy, but... No, no, we, we don't. You know. Know. Listen, I expect Kameer to be better. I expect him to be better, you know, to be a better fighter. I, and also, the thing is, the Japanese, the, the, there's a lot of pressure on, on family to win, to win. When all your family, all your brothers are winning, and then you go and get beat, can you imagine the pressure, the pressure that he's on? I think his dad trains him as well. So there's going to be a lot of pressure there. So he he has to win. It's, it's pride, you know. So he's he's going to be a better fighter. I, I think he probably he probably took Jamie a bit lightly. But then, like I said, with all your people that Jamie had before the fight, he probably went at his best. So both fighters are going to be better this time round. And so it's going to be a better fight. It's going to be an harder fight. And um, as long as we win, that's the main thing. Absolutely. All right, Dave. Yeah, thank man. you very much for talking to uh, IFL TV and. Thanks, uh, that said, perhaps we'll try and catch up with you on the phone. Yeah, you can come out to Texas with us if you want. Please, I've been begging Bellew to come out with me, but fuck, I won't come. Leeds show. Mm. Oh, Leeds, Texas, Leeds, I know, Texas. I know. Weather will be better. Get home to pay for me, I'm out there. All right, okay. You get home to pay right, for me, right. which you've got no hope on, by the way. <laughs> 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 all right, listen, all thanks right, for talking to us, cheers. and uh, hopefully we'll catch up with you soon before that, before that fight date. Thanks, mate. All cheers. right, cheers, mate. See you later.